Hi all, it's Airstuff FPV here with the flight video of our home-built 1.6 meter wingspan V-tail pusher for long-range FPV. So how this video is gonna look like is me first acknowledging a couple of people and then direct you to the flight video, which is recorded on ground with an iPhone. And then in addition to that, there is air-to-air -air video because I commanded the FPV aircraft to fly waypoint missions while I followed it around with my drone. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight video, and I'll see you at the next one. So this is me acknowledging Rob and thanking him as well. His name is just Rob because he donated an amazing amount into the hobby and passion I have for building easy but capable FPV aircraft. And of course, me sharing the build process on the channel for free. And there are two others, which are Rafael Peron and Joey S who have supported me as well. And I'd also like to acknowledge them for supporting. So how they've donated is on a Patreon-like website and it's called buymeacoffee.com. And if you want to support my work as well, there is a small yellow icon on the channel to visit my particular page. And for anyone that has donated into my RC and FPV hobby, I will mention their names and acknowledge them on the channel and have their names written on my aircraft as a return. And of course, in return to everyone watching my content and supporting it is to introduce the next capable FPV aircraft in a build video and or flight video and much more. And so just one more time, I'd like to thank Rob, Rafael Prancho OES and everyone else actually very much for supporting the channel and my work in their own ways. So setting up the aircraft is just very easy. I just connect the main wing right there and get the Y splitter coming from the flight controller to connect the ailerons like this. So here is my radio with the 7 dB patch antenna. Here is the neck strap. Here I have some tape and some additional rubber bands. What I'm gonna do is plug the battery in. Just like this, it doesn't go anywhere. It's nice and snug, perfectly in between these two stops, one right here and one over here. And now I just have to plug the battery in. video is linked up as well. Here is the OSD feed and the aircraft seems more than ready because it's already having 14 satellites. And there's just one more thing and that is to check the control surfaces. You know, make sure that they are moving in the right direction and you know, put it in horizon mode or anything uh, and move it around so that you can see and confirm that the control surfaces are counteracting your error because if they're going with it, you know, your aircraft will crash real quick. So this is the moment, guys. There's a lot of thrust on this one. It's a 14 inch prop as well, so I hope I do not hit my fingers. You guys saw how gracious that launch was, right? The throttle setting is extremely low. The aircraft flies incredibly stable and it's incredibly quiet as well for a 14 inch pusher configuration. So as you guys saw, the aircraft flew great and the maiden flight was a success. And I flew it the second time afterwards to get the autopilot tuned in with the correct PID or PIFF values to prevent oscillation and did some trimming as well to get the aircraft to fly level. And after a couple of days waiting for good weather and less wind than that particular day, I prepared myself and the aircraft to fly autonomous waypoint missions and for me to chase it air to air for incredible footage. Thank you. 